Hackers know from bad passwords. You think you're clever with one, two, three, four, five, six? Or password? Let me in? Look, it's been done, and the hackers know it. But Professor Catherine Isbister has a better idea. It's like combined. Some... Isbister and her yeah. team at New York University are working on a new form of identification, unique user gestures. You set, say, your banking website and maybe uh, your email, and you can use the signature to log into those things instead of having to type your passwords. Isbister says that biometrics beat character-based passwords any day. Most secure passwords have special characters. They're very long. You should have a different one for every site you go to, and truthfully, none of us do that. It turns out the behavioral biometrics are every bit as unique as a password, perhaps more so. Using behavioral biometrics, which is basically taking information from something like the way your hand moves and how far apart your fingertips are, and using that to identify you. In her studies, Isbister says her biometrics approach also gives the users not only better security, but a feeling of power. We had some interesting anecdotal results with our preliminary tests where people would say things like the combination lock made them feel secure because they understood that interaction and they remembered doing that with their fingers and you know locking up their gym locker, right? People have a lot of very powerful associations with movement that you can take advantage of. Oh, joining us now from New York is the man behind the program, uh, Professor Nasir Memon, at New York University's Polytechnic Institute. Uh, thanks for joining us. So uh, this is really interesting stuff. Uh, and it, what's, I think one of the things that's very interesting is to see it on an iPad, uh, this new technology and a familiar device. Are we at a point where this stuff could be real? I think so. Uh, I think we are at a point with a new interface that uh, allows us to uh, interact with the device in different ways that that and our that this this is real i mean we we can do things uh, we can authenticate people by the way they perform gestures or, or other hand movements on the device itself what is it about hand movements that are so unique it's a, i understand fingerprints i understand iris scans and so on. hand movements really yeah, because our hands are different, right? I mean, the hand geometry, the size of my hand, the suppleness of my fingers, the distances between my fingertips, etc., and the way I move them is, is sufficiently different that uh, allows a system to be able to authenticate a person saying, yes, this is Bob or not Bob. Uh, so our, our preliminary results with a reasonable size of uh, population, a n number of uh, subjects has, has shown significant differences between them. Don't things like how jittery I am or how much coffee I've had that morning start to make a difference? Uh, potentially, yes. So, so this is sort of early stage. One has to, one has to, uh, maybe how cold it is outside when I'm doing this. So the system is robust enough so that it doesn't have to be exact and it, it tolerates some amount of variation from, from a template. But uh, you're very right. I mean, one has to look into these things more uh, to get to get a good uh, calibration of, of how uh, accurate they'll be able to perform in different environmental sort of situations. Uh, now talk to me about sort of when this uh, breakthrough was made to recognize that there are way, individual ways that certain people, only one person moves their hands. Uh, so uh, biometrics based on hand geometry has been around for, for a decade or so, uh, but uh, the, the gestures, the fact that gestures themselves are, are, have enough biometric information to be able to, uh, to allow us to differentiate between two diff Alice and Bob, for example, uh, is, is be, sort of it's just been in the past few months that, that people have started right. sort of looking at this. So, Doctor, let me ask you really quickly, last question. Mm -hmm. How do people feel about doing it this way rather than, say, an iris scan or a, a thumbprint or right, something? Right, right. So, so the very nice thing about this is it's not creepy that somebody's taking my fingerprint or, or my iris scan. It's, it's our, ex, our experiments with, with uh, subjects have shown that they actually find it very pleasurable that they can perform fluid sort of gestures which are pleasing and at the same time capture their unique sort of identity. All right, Nasir Memon, uh, professor at NYU, my alma mater. Go Violets. Mm. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Emily?